Do you want to keep your tugboat safe at night from prowling submarines? Let me show you how to build this collapsible drawbridge so that you can keep your tug adventures going. To build the drawbridge yourself, you'll need about 2,000 wood and 11,000 stone. We'll start by finding a spot on the beach that doesn't drop off too quickly. We want to build this first foundation so that it's right at the waterline. Once we get that done, we're going to build out so that we're one and a half walls deep. When we get to the correct depth, we're going to build square foundations out in a 2x4 shape and then put 5 triangles at either end. After getting some of those foundations down, get rid of some of the twig you used to build out and place roofs on the square foundations facing inward. Then you're going to want to place triangle roofs on the four foundations sticking out. Next we're going to cap off the end with walls and the other end with a door frame. Make sure you finish sealing these with a triangle floor on top. Once we get all that done, we're going to upgrade the whole thing to stone. The whole structure should look something like this, and make sure you finish it off with the door. Now we're going to build a spot for the TC. We're going to build two half walls with a full wall on top of each of them. Then, a couple triangle floors and a spot to put down the TC with a few doors. We're going to mirror the half walls and the full walls on this side just without a place for the TC. With those walls upgraded, we finish the structure of the drawbridge. Now we just want to build a compound for the tug itself to sit in. The first step will be placing a gate at the far end. Make sure you're far enough away from the actual drawbridge that the tug can pull all the way in. Then place two walls on either side of the gate going almost straight out. Do the same thing for the drawbridge, making sure that there's no gap between your built wall and your high external. Once those first eight walls are in place, you can connect the rest of them in a big oval. With that, we'll have the full shape of our drawbridge and marina for the tugboat. The next part is learning how to seal it. Inside the drawbridge structure, we're going to place four half walls in between the roofs. Make sure not to upgrade these. Once you have the four half walls placed, place a full wall on top of each of them. Now 
come back up to the surface and place another full wall on top of those walls sticking up through the roofs. From this point, all the twig you see sticking above the roofs can be upgraded to stone. With that, we've successfully sealed our drawbridge for a cost of 600 wood and 2400 stone. To unseal the drawbridge, all we need to do is use a melee tool to break those four half walls. Now we can pull our tugboat into our drawbridge. Make sure you have the tugboat lined up squarely with the drawbridge. With our tugboat safely inside the drawbridge, we need to turn it around before we can pull it out because it doesn't have enough speed to go out backwards. Upon resealing, our tugboat will be safely protected from all submarines for the rest of the night. We're now ready to unseal the tugboat and cruise out into adventure. Thanks so much for watching the video guys, I really appreciate it. Big credit to my brother Mike for showing me the collapsible drawbridge design. If you'd like to check out more stuff on the channel, it'll be linked here. Remember to like and subscribe.